Good morning. Well, it's the holidays and people are setting tables, right? I always love to set a beautiful table with all of my china. But actually, I think it's a little bit out of fashion because selling china these days is a very difficult endeavor. So the question I want to answer today is, what do you do with your mom's china? Now, um, I use my china. So if you have china that you love and you're not using, you should use it. Why not? Right? Enjoy it. But um, if you're not going to use it and you're thinking about what to do with it, I have some ideas for you. Here we have five dinner plates from five sets of china that I have where I have multiple pieces. So I could have a dinner party with any one of these sets of china. Let me explain to you. The first thing you need to know if you want to think about selling your china is you need to know the, um, the maker and the pattern. So for example, this plate here, this is my uh, wedding china, if you can imagine. So that's 40 years old and it is Wedgwood Edme. You always look at the back and you can see Wedgwood and the bottom Edme, all right? So I love that because it's so neutral, although it is very, very common. I didn't know that at the time, but okay. This is my mother's Franciscan apple pattern. Okay, looking at the back, you can see it's an old stamp. There's different kinds of stamps. So it says Franciscan ware, hand decorated. This interestingly, is a nine and three fourths inch plate. You would have to be that specific if you're going to sell, as opposed to a, a 10 and a fourth or a 10 and a half inch plate, which is what most dinner plates are. This plate is my Aunt Anna's that I inherited. It is a Homer Laughlin eggshell Nautilus tulip pattern. Look at the beautiful tulips. I used this when we had a party celebrating our um, trip to Belgium. And on the back, again, you can see eggshell Nautilus, right? Homer Laughlin. That is a very beautiful plate. You're gonna be surprised when I tell you the price of that. This is a, a English plate. It is Royal Albert Heirloom. And you have to be very clear, there is a pattern very similar to this called Derby. So you have to be so clear about exactly what it looks like. All right, with the cobalt blue. And if you look at the back, you can see Royal Albert Bone China England Heirloom. Okay. And then this last plate here, this is my, pat. I call this my patio china. Ainsley Cottage Garden, right? Made in England, Cottage Garden. So those are the five patterns that we're gonna talk about in terms of their worth and what one would do if one wanted to sell them. The first thing you need to know after you find out what the maker and the pattern is, the maker and the pattern name, is you need to, um, Think about what the value is of the china. There are three ways to find out the value of your china, how much it might go for on the marketplace. The first and probably the most reliable and easiest is eBay. Just go on eBay, you have to know the maker and the pattern. Go on eBay, find out the exact piece, so it has to be, you know, this kind of plate at 10 and a half inches, and the condition matters as well. It has to be in good condition for it to sell well, unless it's a rare piece. Um, and, uh, and then you go to, on eBay, if you go uh, into the left-hand column, you say, you just press on sold, and it'll give you the prices of those things that have recently sold. But even looking at what people are asking for, the plates will give you a good idea of what it's worth. So after eBay, 
The next place you might look is a website called WorthPoint. WorthPoint.com has um, catalogs all of the most recent sales of China from a variety of sites, not just EBIT. The only problem with WorthPoint is that it costs money to join to find out. So it's $11.99 a month. I used to belong to WorthPoint, but I didn't use it enough for it to be worthwhile for me. So unless you're a China hound that is actively selling, probably not something for you. The last place you might look is a website called replacements.com. If you're looking to fill out one of your China patterns, replacements is a great place to go. They have top quality used stuff, nothing chipped, nothing, you know, you can always trust that they'll, um, they will uh, pack it up correctly for you. But you can also sell to replacements. The problem there is that you have to pack it up yourself and send it to them. And even before you do that, they have to agree that they will accept it. So if you have a large set of china, packing it up and sending it to them is gonna be very expensive. So unless you think you're going to make some money from it, um, which you would know if you'd gone on eBay, uh, it's probably not worth it either. So those are the three ways to find out the worth of your china in some, in some respect. eBay, WorthPoint, Replacements.com. Now I'm going to show you the difference between eBay, the prices on eBay, and Replacements.com because it's very instructive. All right, before we go to looking at the prices of these pieces, let's talk about what are the options for you to sell. All right, the first one I mentioned is replacements.com. You can ship your china to them and they will sell it for you. Um, it's not a consignment site. They buy it at a certain rate and then they give you whatever it is they think is appropriate and then they resell it at a different value. But it's a pretty sure deal if you can negotiate the, the, the sending of it and all of that. The second place to sell is on eBay. If you already have an eBay uh, sales site, that's easy. But, you know, I don't. I don't sell on eBay, so that could be kind of uh, complicated. Uh, the third place, and this is an easy way to do it, which I haven't done, but I have bought from this site, and that is Facebook Marketplace. And the reason Facebook Marketplace is so great to sell your china is because it's generally, I mean, it's generally a local sale. So if you say I have, you know, a set of, of 30 pieces of china, somebody in the area might be interested, will come over and pay you the money and buy it. And so you don't have to do any of the packing and all of that that you'd have to do with eBay and replacements, which, okay, that's probably the way to go. But some people don't like that because they don't want people coming to their home. I get that. But that's the easiest way. And the other way that I have seen people sell is to just sell directly on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, you can just put up something and say, I'm selling this, private message me if you're interested. Um, and then there's certain groups, like for example, there's a Balik China group, there's a Franciscan China group, there's a Noritaki China group. If you go on those groups on Facebook, they also have buying and selling. So those are ways that you can uh, buy or sell China. Uh, again, they have various complications to them. You have to think about what you're willing to do to sell your China. Now, um, the third thing that you could do with your China, so the first is you have to find the value, um, and then how to find a home for your China. The first thing you can do is sell it, or you can just rehome it. Just rehome the china. If you don't want it and you want to get rid of it, of course, what do you do? Give it to Goodwill. Give it to Salvation Army. They'll sell it and get a good price for it, and maybe it goes to a good cause. Um, I bought a whole set of china one time at my church's bazaar. Uh, it was a set of, oh my God, just an enormous set of china, a set of eight of this beautiful china for 60 bucks. It was a complete steal. Uh, although I'm not sure... <laughs> I'm not sure I could sell it for 60 bucks today, but I love it, so I don't care. Uh, 
And the other thing you can do to rehome China, and I have done this, is to um, just give it to another China lover. I have actually adopted several sets of China, people that were just giving away China, they didn't want it anymore, and they didn't want to give it away because it had some meaning to them, and I told them I would take care of it, and I do, and I use it, and I love it. So, you know, that's another way to go, just to rehome your China and give it to somebody that might love it. Let's take a look at pricing. This is really going to surprise you. So we have this beautiful Wedgwood Edme plate, 40 years old from my wedding, so precious to me. If you were to sell it, for example, right now, replacements.com, let's say if you were to buy it, replacements.com has this plate at $23.99 per plate on replacements.com. So that's a pretty good price for one plate. But if you go onto eBay, you'll find these plates four for $20, five bucks a piece. Very, very undervalued, but that's what they're going for. It's a very, very common, very common pattern. Nobody wants them. All right, then the Franciscan apple. There's a lot of people that love this pattern and are looking for it and looking to fill out their sets, but still in all, if you go on eBay, uh, if you go to replacements.com, they're selling this for $25.99 a plate. But if you go on eBay, six bucks. Six bucks. Also, this is a luncheon size plate, as I said, not a dinner plate. This Homer Laughlin, I just think this is so fine and so lovely. If you go on replacements.com, it is $9.99 a plate. So it's really not worth anything when replacements is not, <laughs> doesn't have the price up. And on eBay, it's $5 a plate. Now, if you were to sell an entire set of this to replacements, they'd probably give you, I don't know, at the most 50 bucks. And then they would sell it for twice or three times as much. That's what they do. This is a really beautiful plate and the one that I got for completely cheap at an estate sale. Um, and it's the only one that's sort of worth any money. <laughs> On replacements.com, this plate is $99, which nobody would pay. I wouldn't pay $99 for this plate. But if you go onto eBay for one plate, they're selling it for $29 to $49. And you can sometimes see them for $10 on auction. So, you know, you can get a good deal on these, but if you have to buy them from replacements because you're filling out your set, they're expensive. And lastly, this piece, uh, my favorite patio china, this is the cottage garden uh, on replacements. Let's see, $49.99 per plate. $49.99 per plate, <laughs> but on, e on eBay, $4, $4 a plate. I show you those because um, if you wanna sell your mom's china, unless it's a very high-end sort of English china, you're not gonna get much money, more, much money for it. And if that's okay with you, then, you know, good, good for you. Um, but it's just a sign of the times that uh, kids today want much more uh, casual dining and they're not interested in the kind of fine china that you see here. So mostly you can buy huge sets of china for a hundred, uh, less than a hundred dollars online or even, you know, at estate sales. I wish you luck. I'm happy to hear your China stories. I'm always interested in the kind of China that you have or the kind of China that you love. And you can ask some of the readers, you'll be surprised if you email me about your China, I am probably gonna say, please send me a picture because I just love to look, I just love to see. So also, if you don't know what your China is and you show me the back stamp, I can find it for you. I'm a wizard at that. All right? Okay, get ready for Thanksgiving with your china.